Oh, oh, wow, there he is, right at my feet. That's a huge rainbow. That's a big rainbow. Oh, 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 oh my God, right at me. Oh God, he's right here in front of me. This thing's huge. Oh God, oh God, oh my God. Wow, just look at this thing. Got him, got him. Oh yes, first fish of the day. Hello everybody and welcome back to another addictive fishing video from the land of We're back out here on the river in our waders hiking a new creek in search of some trophy sized trout. This isn't the trophy one we want, but it's the first fish of the day. So it is as special as they get. Beautiful rainbow. Wow, what a cool, unique looking fish. Got some really interesting spots on the back. Come on, little guy. Got him on the only lure apparently that you need in Chile. An orange rooster tail. What a neat looking trout. Absolutely gorgeous. Rooster tail for the win. All right, see you later, little guy. Well, it's episode two or three of this Chile series, you guys and I am having an absolute blast, and I hope you guys are liking this adventure. This has been something I've been dreaming about filming for Addicted for a long, long time, ever since the first time I came to this place. So we got our gaucho hat, a backpack full of gear, and we got our feet, and we're going all day looking for a giant. That was a good start though, first fish of the day. Welcome back, everyone. Let's go have an adventure. like a killer spot. One thing I know, there's a lot of big browns in this river. And brown trout love structure like this. Wood, any kind of big boulders, anything they can hide behind is a little pursuit angle. So this looks perfect to me. Going straight up river, let her sink. And here we go. Oh, there he was, little one. Just, a, oh, there's another one. Oh, looking right in front of me, they're everywhere. Let's just be little ones there. I'm gonna go off the ledge a little bit more this time. Let that sink. So flutter, 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 flutter. Flutter me, flutter. No, not the second time they out. They're on to me. Okay, 
top of the hole action. Here we go. Let it hang, doing the hang dangle. Oh, got him! Oh, ho, oh, oh. that felt like a good one. Oh. Oh, there he is. It's the little guy. Oh, looks like the first brown of the day, though. Oh, wow, he's going nuts. He's a nuts. He's a wild animal. No, actually, what is it? Oh, just another little rainbow. Fish number two of the day, though. Gorgeous. This is so fun because we're just on foot, kind of going up along the bank here, looking at every little nook and cranny we could possibly catch a fish in, putting the infamous fire tiger spinner in there, and it's working. The goal today is probably be to find a couple different species and see how far we can make it up this creek. I know the creek will change as we go up river, and there's a ton of good trout water here, so cast it every pocket and see what we pull out. Yeah, here we go, ninja fishing. There's some of these little pockets here. Fishy as F. I love doing this Rambo style of fishing, you guys. Hitting every little piece of pocket water behind every boulder. Trying to find where these big behemoths of brown trout would be. Brown trout has always been my arch nemesis in my fishing career. I've never been able to really catch a ton of them or have like a day where I caught some really, really big ones. So each day here in Patagonia gets me that much closer to having one of those days. Some of the best brown trout fishing in the world. Got him. Oh, first brown of the day. First brown of the day. He's got me tip wrapped. That was a cool little flip up in there. I noticed this really shallow gravel. I was wondering if this fish possibly would be spawning because it's springtime, and they definitely are. This is a really beautiful fish. What a cool looking brown. Just incredible colors, top to bottom. Got these beautiful, like, bluish hue to it almost. Let's get him back. Later, little guy. I cannot believe we're here right now and that you guys are here watching. This is such an incredible setting. We got massive mountains all around, beautiful clear water streams full of trout and miles and miles of uncharted territory. Let's get back in there. the bank oh my god right at me oh god he's right here in front of me this thing's huge oh god oh god oh my god holy moly gotta fight him through these rocks this is a huge brown oh you hit it right at the freaking rod tip at the rocks oh my god that scared the crap out of me but that is an incredibly cool looking brown look at this thing you guys oh that thing literally hit it in probably less than six inches of water what a Dud of a fish. Oh my goodness. Just look at this thing. <laughs> what a fish. Oh my God. That is such a cool fish. Look at the hook nose on him. Just destroyed the rooster. Wow. Just look at this thing. Holy snikes. Okay, let's get him back. These things, some of these fish can be super duper old, so it's very important. If you guys do ever travel to a place like this or a fishing area with wild trout, that you take those photos really quickly, especially if it's warm outside, take those photos quickly, get these fish released, and get on your way trying to find another one. It's really important, especially if you're fishing anywhere with wild trout like this, that you hook these fish, get your pictures quickly, and get them back on their way, because these things can be sometimes up to like 10 years old, a lot of these trout, so we want to get them safely back in there. 
So you ready to go? Looks like it. <laughs> First big fish of the day. That was epic. Okay, back at it. See if we can do that again. Oh, that's the cast. Big brown number two coming up. Or should I say, numero dos. Ooh, killer wind cast. That wind is in my favor right now. So you guys can see how I'm taking this upstream approach as I'm fishing these banks. One, it's because I have this awesome breeze coming from my back, and I can't believe I just said awesome breeze. But I have all these lanes and these feeding lanes and these pockets. That fish was literally sitting right here under this rock. And you can see how close to the shallow water it bit. It was just right at the end of this tailout. So these things are in feeding lanes. They're taking the least amount of energy to eat the most amount of food. So I'm going to work upriver. I got this perfect wind. I'm going to try to hit every little boulder and hidey spot and see if we can't find some more big ones. Whoa, that one had his lips on it, literally. That was nuts. I thought I could feel like some weird weight as I was reeling in, and then as that thing got closer and closer, all of a sudden I could see the trout like holding on to the end of the spinner. That was pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Got an epic brush line right now. Epic brush line. Gonna cast straight into the foam on the first cast. Keep it just off the bottom. This feels good. Oh, come on. I know he was there. here this is a really deep hole everybody and I feel like once we get a little bit further up this river we might start seeing some more of these really deep holes so I'm wondering what I might have that's gonna get deep it, surprisingly enough you know we came down here to film a salmon fishing movie which I mentioned in the last video that you guys watched so I didn't go super duper hard on bringing a bunch of trout stuff but no matter what I knew I would have a cast master let's get this thing in here There it goes. Well, we got one bite on the Castmaster. We didn't get it on camera, naturally, but it's working. Let's keep heading up river. The wind is blowing super hard in this section, but the river makes a pretty hard bend. And so I think these trees will be blocking a few of the next holes. So let's go find out. Okay, back to the spinner, everybody. We're going back old school. This hole is a little bit more of a spinner style. You can see what I mean by spinner style. It's about four to five feet deep. Lots of big boulders in structure. So you don't want a lure that's gonna sink too fast. You want it kind of sinking on the fly as it's fishing down through the run. It's, a lot of times with these big trout, one, it can just be the aggressiveness of them, but two, it could be the angle that the spinner goes by them. If it goes at that down and away, 
angle where it's like going right towards their nose and then going away at an angle behind them, it's a lot easier for them to turn and grab that than it is to chase forward after something. So runs like this, I'm gonna stick with the spinner. Those deeper pools, the spots I can't get this thing down, I'm gonna go back to the cast master. And if I see something like big, deep, long frog water, I might go to like something like a wiggler or something like that. So I'm excited to try. What do we have here? Okay, one more try. Wow. Look at this. This is a solid geode, everybody. This place has every single piece of my favorite things in the world. Rocks, fish, mountains and good food. Oh my God, that is so cool. A little too heavy to pack out of here today, but some rocks just belong on the river. This is one of them. We'll keep our eyes out for more though. That is really cool. Let's get in this hole up top here. This looks amazing. I'm just two stepping my way up through this hole, everybody. Making one cast about the same exact angle and doing it about 10, 15 feet up from the cast previous with each two steps. And I'm just working my way up through the top of this hole. I know this thing has to have a big fish in it somewhere. This is the nicest spot I've seen so far. I could only imagine if there was steelhead or something in this river. This is just such a sexy little creek. I'm in love. Come on, baby. I can feel them in there. Oh, I just saw a really nice one roll right up ahead of us. I'm gonna make a little inside seam cast, an inside seamage. That's it. Nothing on the inside seamage. Oh wow, that was a nice one. Oh my God, he apparently does not like the spinner. Just fed on a natural bug right on the surface. I'm going through him right now. No, he's not about the spinner. The spinner bite has kind of died so far this afternoon. Don't know why. Wow, that was a nice trout. Oh, wow, there he is, right at my feet. That's a huge rainbow. That's a big rainbow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, that's what we're looking for right there. Oh, what an absolutely monstrous take on that fish. Woohoo! yeah. Now we're talking. That was so epic, instant replay. Oh, oh, wow, there he is, right at my feet. That's a huge rainbow. That's a big rainbow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, here we go. Let's lay hands on him. What a cool looking fish. It's got like a freaking shark fin. Done it. 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 Wee, 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 wee. And wow. Holy cripes. Now that is a heck of a Patagonian rainbow. Look at that red spot on his forehead. What a unique fish. Oh, easy, easy friend. Look at this, look at this thing. He is a creature, a wild creature. Just absolutely magnificent. Look at that fin. What a specimen of a trout. Oh, that was so cool. That was one of the best takes yet. Freaking incredible. Look at that tail. What a beautiful creature. Thanks, little dude. Got the camera. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, I don't think today could have been any better, you guys. 
these Patagonia videos are, are turning out amazing. I want to see your guys' comments below on what you think of these things and where you want to see us go next. I had to try hard for years to get this trip all together, so I want to start doing more things like this. So give me some ideas on areas, give me some ideas on fish, and give me some ideas on videos you guys want to see because we make these for you, the viewer. Today has been incredible. Beautiful fish, beautiful weather, incredibly beautiful landscape, and I seriously couldn't ask for any more. We're going to be filming a lot more of these kind of videos coming up, you guys, so be on the lookout for next week's videos because I know you're not going to be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.